What is going on? Dobby! Are you still living here? You call this living. What is this? Who did it? And how about getting rid of it? Don't be a dolt. This is Samantha. It's a little trick she used to do when she was a child. You mean she got her witchcraft back? <laughs> back? Blabbermouth. What is this all about? Joe would like the rest of you. Your timing is atrocious. <laughs> Samantha, is this true that you've lost your powers? Well, yes, it is. Sort of. In a way. But not actually. Samantha, why are you hedging? Did I sound like I was hedging? <laughs> no, it's no use, Samantha. You might as well tell him. Yes. Uh, Darren, uh, why, why don't you go and wash up before dinner? I'm not hungry. Something has taken the edge off my appetite. <laughs> the lack of admiration is mutual. <laughs> Daddy, how about a martini? Let's not avoid the issue, Samantha. Samantha, I've learned from experience that circumventing the truth is not the way around your father. Okay. But Daddy, you have to promise me that you'll think before you react. Promise? <laughs> oh. Well, it's because of my marriage. <laughs> <laughs> when I met you, my first instinct was to turn you into a leaping lizard. I'm sorry I didn't obey that instinct. Daddy, you promised that you'd think before you reacted. I have thought, and now I'm reacting. Young man, you are a leaping lizard. Oh, good heavens. Funny, I don't feel like a lizard. Leaping or otherwise. Oh! Oh! D Dr. Bombay, did you find something that could help me? No, but I've isolated the bug you've got. Bug? The computer couldn't find anything wrong with me. I'm afraid that computer has a few bugs of its own. What you have is a rare disease called perimiri dictamitis. I'm working on the cure right now. In the meantime, you must all avoid direct contact with her, and above all, no one must kiss her. This might cause a complete loss of his or her powers. Make that his. Oh, Daddy, I'm so sorry. Don't worry, my dear. How long will it take you to find a cure for this perimiri... Perimiri dictamitis? <laughs> no way of telling. Few hours, few weeks, couple of months, few years. Lucky for you, I have a new assistant who's on a fellowship from which is you. <laughs> Lucky for me, she's not a fellow. <laughs> well, well, well. If I didn't have scruples, wouldn't I be in a lovely position to pay you back for all the nasty things you've done to me? Fortunately, I don't have any scruples. <laughs> Careful. Young man, take my advice and take her advice. When the mighty fall, the jackals come to call. As poor old King Lear said in similar circumstances, blow winds and crack your cheeks. Rage, blow you cataracts and hurricanos, oak cleaving thunderbolts. I think now would be a good time for me to go to water. <laughs> come back. I'm not through yet. As far as I'm concerned, you are. Darren, watch it before you find yourself in orbit around the planet of your choice. <laughs> or you may turn into a leaping lizard after all. Daddy, what were you saying? I was saying, Oak cleaving thunderbolt, singe my white head, and thou all shaking thunder, crack nature's molds that make in great for man. Oh, Daddy, that is absolutely... Rumble, my pinnacle! Sorry. Spit fire! Spout your rain! I said I was sorry! <laughs>